In example number one, we shall discuss the continuity of f of x at four different points. Let us find continuity of this function at x is equal to one. We can see that when x is less than or equal to one, the value of this function is two x plus three. And when x is greater than one, the value of this function is five. We shall use three step continuity test. In step number one, we shall obtain the value of this function at x is equal to one. And we can see when x is equal to one, the value of the function is two x plus three substituting x is equal to 1 and simplifying we get that f of 1 is equal to 5 which is a real number and is not infinity this implies that f of x is defined at x is equal to 1 and step number 1 is satisfied in step number 2 we shall obtain the left hand limit and right hand limit Left hand limit is equal to limit x approaches to 1 minus f of x. Here we shall substitute that value of the function f of x for which x is less than 1. And we can see when x is less than 1 still we have the value of this function which is 2x plus 3. Applying the limit and simplifying, we get left hand limit is equal to 5. Right hand limit is equal to limit x approaches to 1 f of x. And here we shall substitute that value of the function f of x for which x is greater than 1. And we can see when x is greater than 1, f of x is 5. So we substitute the value of this function which is 5 here. Limit of a constant is again the same constant and we get right hand limit is equal to 5. Left hand limit is equal to right hand limit and this implies that limit x approaches to 1 f of x is equal to 5. Hence, limit at x is equal to 1 exists. To verify step number 3, we can see from step number 1 that the value of f of 1 is 5 and from step number 2 that the value of limit x approaches to 1 f of x is also equal to 5. So, they are equal and hence step number three is also satisfied. Since all three steps are satisfied, this implies that f of x is continuous at x is equal to one. To find continuity of f of x at second point x is equal to two, we can see when x is less than or equal to 2, f of x is 5. When x is greater than 2, f of x is 1 over x minus 3. In step number 1, we obtain the value of this function at x is equal to 2, which is 5. So, f of x is equal to 5, substituting x is equal to 2, we get f of 2 is equal to 5, which is a real number and not infinity. This implies f of x is defined at x is equal to 2, and step 1 is satisfied. In step 2, we obtain left hand limit and right hand limit. Left hand limit is equal to limit x approaches to 2 minus f of x and here we substitute that value of f of x for which x is less than 2 and when x is less than 2 f of x is equal to 5 applying the limit we get left hand limit is equal to 5. Right hand limit is equal to limit x approaches to 2 plus f of x. 
here we shall substitute that value of the function for which x is greater than 2 and when x is greater than 2 f of x is 1 over x minus 3 applying the limit 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 so right hand limit is equal to minus 1 we can see that left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit and this implies limit x approaches to 2 f of x does not exist condition 2 is failed and this implies f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 2. To find the continuity of f of x at third point x is equal to 3 we can see that the value of f of x is 1 over x minus 3 when x is greater than 2. It means that f of x is 1 over x minus 3 for all those values which are greater than 2. We are particularly interested in this step at x is equal to 3. So when x is equal to 3, f of x is 1 over x minus 3. And substituting x is equal to 3 in this function, we get 1 over 0 which is infinity. This implies f of x is not defined at x is equal to 3 and step number 1 is failed. Hence, f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 3. To discuss the continuity of f of x, at the last point x is equal to 4, we can see that the value of this function is 1 over x minus 3 when x is greater than 2. This implies that f of x is 1 over x minus 3 when x is between 2 and infinity but here we are interested in x is equal to 4 so in step number 1 we substitute x is equal to 4 and simplifying we get f of 4 is equal to 1 which is a real number this implies f of x is defined at x is equal to 4 and step number 1 is satisfied to verify step number 2, we can see when 4 is less than or equal to x or x is less than or equal to 4, in all these cases f of x has the same value. So we don't need to find left hand limit and right hand limit. We have to directly apply limit x approaches to 4 f of x. And after simplification, we get that this is equal to 1. This implies that limit at x is equal to 4 exists. Step number 2 is satisfied. To verify step number 3, we can see from step number 1 that f of 4 is 1. And from step number 2, limit x approaches to 4, f of x is also equal to 1. So they are equal, step number 3 is satisfied, since all three cases are satisfied, this implies f of x is continuous at x is equal to 4.